Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. So some of them were going to church, some of them were just going about their business in a hot summer weekend. All of them were Georgian citizens, and all of them were on Georgian territory. And all of them were illegally abducted by Russian-controlled separatist forces. At least eight Georgians were detained this past weekend near the Russian-occupied Skingvali region. They were arrested and charged with illegally crossing the border, which is of course impossible because Georgia doesn't have a border with the Skingvali region, which the Russian-backed separatists call South Ossetia. What it does have is an occupation line where Moscow is aggressively trying to establish the attributes of a border. This weekend's abductions took place as Russia continued putting up fencing in the village of Gugutiankari, effectively dividing the town and trapping two residential homes and a water irrigation reservoir in occupied territory. Last year, Moscow's proxies opened a so-called customs checkpoint in the Ahalgori municipality, allegedly to combat smuggling. What all this shows us is that there's more than one way to steal your neighbor's territory. There's more than one way to undermine your neighbor's sovereignty. There's more than one way to violate your neighbor's independence. You can do it Crimea style, quick and forcefully, sending in your little green men, staging a referendum at gunpoint, and following up with the pomp and circumstance of a formal annexation ceremony. Or you can do it quietly and stealthily, manufacturing a conflict in your neighbor's territory and slowly but surely turning the conflict zone into your own de facto protectorate. This is how Russia is attempting to erode Georgia's sovereignty. They are doing it every day, and it should concern us all. This week marks the 80th anniversary of the infamous Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, which is a reminder that when the sovereignty of small states is not protected, it puts us on a slippery slope to a very dangerous world. Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.